Do you often look at your wardrobe and think, I have nothing to wear when it's literally full of clothes because I am the same. So this could be the video for you. It's 25 outfits when you have nothing to wear. Hello there guys, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is inspired by a YouTuber who I really admire called Best Dress. Um, out of interest by the way, everything is linked in the description box below if you were interested in any of the pieces featured in this video. I have three items that I tried to use repeatedly because I thought that most people might have these. It's a pair of black denim jeans, a band t-shirt and a smart pair of trousers. I honestly wish I had a pair of, full, a pair of black full length denim, but I only have a cropped pair. So you're gonna have to see this cropped pair for the whole video. So the outfit number one with the black denim. I call this my snuggly outfit. It kind of looks like I'm going to the gym, which I might be, um, but I think it's the barrel bag that does that. That barrel bag is such a lifesaver, honestly. It has so much room and it's so convenient. Um, and this is a big comfy jacket. And again, comfy shoes. This is, I, I think I'm happiest when I'm comfiest. So most of my outfits are pretty comfy. This jacket is also reversible. If you can get your hands on a reversible jacket, I say do it because it's two jackets in one. Um, and that takes me to my next look where I've ditched the barrel bag and thrown a crossbody bag over the top, um, swapped out the sneakers for all white. I'm wearing a fisherman's beanie, which is the smallest beanie on the planet. The jacket's kind of like a bomber slash Harrington hybrid, but you could get like a bomber jacket, a Harrington jacket, any will do the trick. Also been really loving crossbody bags. So I think they're a great addition to any outfit at the moment. Um, they kind of elevate it. They take it from if you're just wearing like a sweatshirt or a pair of denim and you throw a crossbody, especially if the crossbody is contrasting to the layer on top as well, it adds more kind of dimensions to your outfit and more of a focal point. Next up, I grab my backpack and uh, my beanie again. This is just with a block color sweatshirt. So you could do this with green, red, blue, gray, black, even if you just want to keep it monochrome. Uh, but a block color is a really nice way to like spruce up a plain pair of denim as well. Then you can also get into more trend driven fits like the puffer jacket. The puffer jacket is probably the biggest, one of the biggest trends of last year and it's carrying on through to this year as well. I have a grey puffer here which I've teamed with a purple um, turtleneck underneath to kind of enhance that grey colour and then I added a white crossbody to match my shoes. You can then swap the puffer jacket for something like an overcoat and then I've got and matched my sweatshirt with the beanie as well, which is always a nice touch. I like things that match, okay? And here we have my tactical vest. How how far can you take a tactical look without looking like you're going fishing? Because I honestly feel like I look like I'm going fishing with this outfit. I still like it though, like I'm wearing a white roll neck underneath with the black denim and then a tactical vest. You can really you can really change the outfit as well by lightening the tones because black denim is quite harsh and I tend to wear a lot of black, but most recently I've been trying to step into the lighter shades of things as well. Not just with the shoes, but with like this light hoodie with the beige puffer jacket over the top um, because I'm kind of sick of looking like a goth. You can then go back to being a gothic denim daddy um, by getting a kind of matching denim jacket over the top to the color of the denim. So if they were blue, you could get a light blue. Again, matching is always fun. I have a big thing for flannel shirts, um, big oversized flannel shirts, especially when they're thick and kind of beefy. <laughs> True Scott will be laughing at that comment. Um, yeah, a thick and beefy flannel shirt. With a game with a crossbody over the top, it's just kind of easy and simple. And again, you can really change an outfit just by, so if you keep your kind of base layer of the t-shirt and the denim, um, you just go through all your jackets and see what works. This brings me to my next look, printed shirts. Printed shirts are so much fun to wear. Um, especially when there's this like revere collar style or camp collar, however you want to call it, when the collar is kind of open at the front and they kind of oversized with a big fun outlandish print all over it, like this purple devil shirt I'm wearing with the denim here. I've also added a belt from weekday with some chunky kind of hiking sneakers as well from ASOS, which are really, really nice. Next up is the band t-shirt which I'm slowly tucking into my trousers here. I think the band tee is one of the most versatile pieces. That's why I included it. Um, you can wear it with anything from denim to 
smart trousers or even a whole suit like I'm showing you here. I think mixing styles is really important. Like you can take a banty and you can go super grunge, but you can also take a banty and go super smart and it kind of like contrasts the whole style, which is interesting. Up next, I paired it with a wider fit pair of denim and chunky sneakers and that denim shirt from earlier over the top. So like a whole denim vibe, but then with the band t-shirt sneaked in there as well. Next up, a more sports looks kind of approach. So track pants have been trendy for like, the past couple of years, and especially with the side stripes. And I feel like this is a good option for a band tee as well. You can mix the style up even more by throwing a blazer over the top, especially, and then whack a crossbody as well. Bringing back my fisherman's vest and my matching cargo trousers and my fisherman's beanie, I'm going fishing. <laughs> I actually love this look so much. Um, like I said, I love a cord, a coordinate, a matching piece. And I think this fisherman's moment with the band tee just, yeah, I, I love it. I swapped out the band tee for something a bit more vibrant because the Balenciaga one it's kind of plain, whereas this misbehave one has a naked lady riding a snake on it, which is definitely more band tee esque, more like heavy metal band tee. Um, but I won't offend anyone because it's not a real band. Neither of these band t shirts are from real bands. I made that mistake wearing my Metallica t shirt years ago. Um, a pseudo band t shirt. Play it safe, boys, play it safe. Um, yeah, so I paired this with a suit. This is actually one of my favorite looks. I feel very Matrix, yet also heavy metal. Heavy metal Matrix, is that a thing? Um, with a skinny pair of sunglasses. You can change it up by keeping the smart trousers on, but pairing it with like an overshirt of any kind, really, as long as they kind of match the colors on the t-shirt or complement them in a way. You can also pair it with gray. Uh, you don't just have to stick to a black suit, you can wear any coloured suit. I thought this would lead me nicely into my next set of looks as well, which is all done with these grey smart trousers. Um, so with the grey smart trousers, I'm really playing with uh, colours. So this pink version of the devil shirt I got, um, a yellow dragon shirt, which is really fun. And if you're a rich bitch like me, you can whack out the Prada. I love this Prada piece. Um, it's kind of split, like one side. The one side is a floral kind of print and the other side is two people smooching. Contrasting shirts really look great with suits, especially at the moment in the way that kind of tailoring is going to a more fun and exciting place. But again, you don't have to wear a shirt, you can just pair it with a t-shirt if that is more your kind of style. You don't even have to wear the blazer, you can take the blazer off as well and just wear the shirt and the pants because um, that's a nice look too. Now for my final three looks, um, the first one is a co-ord. These have nothing to do with any of the like pieces that we kept in line with the last couple of looks. The first one is a co-ord, so a matching sweatshirt and track pants. I would call it a tracksuit, but I feel like it's not a tracksuit, but maybe it is. Either way, I threw a crossbody on top, I've got chunky sneakers on and a beanie, and I, again, just feel super, super comfortable. Next up is an all white Labor Day realness look um, with my chunky, chunky converse, which are really, really nice. Um, I feel like if you are stuck for outfits, what, what I learned from my last video where I wore solid colors all week is that solid color outfits are really interesting and exciting. And it's kind of like putting a puzzle together because obviously then you're not gonna get all the pieces from the same brand, but when you get all the pieces from different brands and put them all together and it makes a one solid color outfit, it's really fun. <laughs> and finally, a co another cozy look from me, obviously, why not? This oversized knitted sweatshirt is so nice. I really recommend getting an oversized knitted sweatshirt because they're so nice just throw over any kind of outfit, especially if you are a bit chilly. But also, it's a really kind of nice aesthetic. Yeah, did I just give you 25 outfits on how to be cozy? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a hell of a long time to make. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.